These retail for five hundred dollars. What's up, guys? It's Saturday. Doing a little garage sailing. Um, see if I can find something cool today. So far, only picked up a couple things: a little Pokemon game and a couple NASCAR tees. But I'm about to hit up this one. These are both from the '90s. This is a competitor's view. There's the back. Here's the other one. I think this is the better of the, the two. It's by uh, Chase Authentics and back. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. And then I picked up the Wii game for a dollar. That's going to my nephew, but yeah, six dollars altogether, 250 per shirt. Okie dokie. Alright. Hey, have a good one. Yeah, you too. Thank right, you so much. Thank you. There's that Oakley bag. I ended up spending $6 on it. Um, it's not like a kitchen sink or anything, but I should do pretty well with that. And I do have a video on this channel where I sold uh, the Dexter uh, bag. So if you haven't seen that, it's, that one was pretty cool. I'm going to try to find that bag again someday. Well, I'll try it out and see how it works. Yeah. The neat desk was ten dollars, and it's pretty cool. They said it was new, and it does appear to be so. So there's a price tag that was on it, two forty-four, and then they crossed it out to one twenty-five. But I usually, when it's late in the day, I'll still ask, um, like how much an item is, even if there's a price tag on it. This just gives people a chance to kind of reevaluate you know, their pricing and maybe they've had a change of mind and part of her reasoning is that she just didn't want to bring it back into her house. So I was very happy to spend that ten dollars. <laughs> Alright, well thank you. I'm gonna go visit your neighbors now. <laughs> So we got a little briar horse. That was a dollar. Um, people have always wanted a lot for these. So when I found that for a dollar, I'm like, all right, I'll try it out this time. This guy apparently is not worth too much, but um, now I know. <laughs> Blazer Ancline, nice big bottle, four ounces. It was 50 cents. It's probably going to be long tail, but... I accumulated over a multiple multiple sales this little bag of sterling that cost me $69 in total and it's 136 grams. Here's all of it and we'll just jump onto this. Um, I spent five dollars. This was my first um, jewelry pickup of the weekend and I don't know just thought these were fairly nice tax co with the abalone you know cufflinks set like that and then I don't know, sort of interesting, I guess. I got this little marcasite and onyx uh, earring set. So here's another little grouping. I spent $6. Just got some little Mickey Mouse sterling earrings. Some really thin um, Taxco like turquoise chip earrings. Got these little whale tail earrings. These are probably my favorite. I like stuff like this, where it's these like uh, inlaid stones. You've got like you know your onyx, your coral, turquoise, and abalone. This little grouping was twelve dollars with the horse, and we've got a pair of laurel birch, like figural. Um, I think they call it. She calls it friends. A pair of earrings there. These are by Lois Hill, and. Uh, it's a pretty nice, fairly heavy sterling earrings, clip-ons. They're made in Indonesia. And then this little bracelet. I don't know exactly what you would call this design, but it's a 925 Italy. It's got that little safety mechanism for the box clasp. And the 
next grouping was $18. Um, a lot of Silpata, which is something I just recently learned about. But I've got some Silpata, like Sterling, and Pearl Earrings. These are also by the same company. These little dangly, hammered earrings. It looks like this, uh, this brand has a pretty good following. People are pretty into it. So, another pair of earrings. And another pair of hammered earrings with a little beadwork there. Plus we got a ring. And then another ring. This is not by Silpata. It's by Today. It's like an Israeli design company. So, all that. 18 bucks. And last up, got this little guy. It's a little Tiffany & Co. Um, I think they call it like Somerset. It's a little ball. Twisted ball rope design. So that was 10 bucks, and uh, probably gonna take it to the store, see if they'll clean it for me, give me a little box, give me a little bag. And that is how I spent $69 on jewelry. Just a little bit at a time. So it rained today, but I might be able to hit up a few sales tomorrow, Monday, just because uh, it's like the holiday weekend. Good, how are you doing? Good. This is a big bat. Yeah, he's on call it. 30, 33. How much is it? Yeah, I'll get it. Cool, yeah, three bucks. How much are your shoes? Um, let's see, I'll have them go for five bucks. Like, Nike SBs there, those are fairly new. I don't really wear those too often, huh? Just leaving there. I picked up a juicer. Ten bucks. Never heard of Green Star before. Not bad for a couple of sales. I spent another $22, so I think we're up to like $104 in total for the weekend. Of course, I had to pick up some shoes. Got some of these uh, 6.0s in this Rasta like color way, and then these like trainer threes, like Air Trainer threes. Decent bat here. We got a De Marini Voodoo Black, and then this is probably this is the big winner of the day for ten bucks. I've dealt with Champion Juicers, Omega Juicers, but I mean, this is a new one for me, Green Star. And uh, it's going to be something I'm going to be looking out for in the future. These retail for $500, so they're pretty pricey. And the guy said he had never used it. Obviously, it's been in storage for a while. I think the plastic has yellowed, but if you pull out like the inner workings, like the metal and like the grate, it literally, it, I mean, I do believe him that he never used it. I mean, that looks perfect. Usually these get pretty, pretty dirty. So there's the haul. $104. Kind of a weird weekend. Um, Saturday and then Monday for a couple hours. Just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're finding great things. More videos coming out every single week.